Hey, y'all. Welcome to my home. Take your shoes off before you come in. This is the living room. One thing I always have in my home is fresh flowers. You will not see artificial plants. That is like one rule. And in the kitchen here, this is a walnut topped kitchen island that I had custom built. Absolutely love this. We spent a lot of time hanging out around here, socializing because it is an open concept. So I love that. Okay, so this one is a little different because it is a screened in porch, but I've kept it kind of like a media area. So have a TV, have the L-shaped couch so everybody can hang out here and watch football, have snacks. I actually really love this area. It's really cozy. Follow me. So here is the primary bedroom, which I absolutely just think is fantastic because of the lighting. I wanted everything to be a very clean touch. It's not ideal when you have a spray tan, but that's okay. And here is the bathroom. But before we get into that, you've got to look at my gym closet. So this is all gym clothes. It's a problem. I wasn't kidding when I said I had like over 100 pairs of workout leggings, sneakers. I'm sure you're wondering where all my other clothes are and I can't wait to show you. Okay, bathroom, like I said, having natural light is super important to me because it's the best for makeup. So that's why I love having all the white and I keep it that way. Fresh garden tub and I love to spend, you know, a good hour in there, watch my Netflix on my iPad. You know, I'm sure my neighbor gets a great view of that, so. <laughs> all right guys, but for real, let's get into it. I have the best part of the house, which is in the carriage house. So follow me. All right, guys, are y'all ready for this? It's my favorite part of the whole house. Ah, look at this. This is the ultimate glam room. I mean, um, I have everything custom built here. Vanity station, uh, sconces here, everything is on dimmers, which is really nice because I can control the light. I think this space is obviously where I do a lot of work, so they barely see me in the main house. And here is, this is every girl's dream. My perfect glam room. Closet here, I love this because I can throw my outfits for the week out and have it already planned. I will show you one thing that you probably are not gonna be shocked about, but I have all swimsuits. This is my swimsuit collection. Might be a little bit of a obsession, but I'm not complaining. My room, this is literally my dreams come true. This is what I worked so hard for. So I'm glad you guys came to this because you're welcome anytime. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my house as much as I do. But I'm gonna have to ask you guys to get on out of here. I got plans. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all, welcome to my new house. Come on in and let me show you around. So this is my lovely living room. I typically have fresh flowers delivered every week so I can keep it kind of lively in here and beautiful. When I first moved in, this room was all white. This chandelier didn't even exist. Um, so I came in and kind of like spruce up the place and made it my own. So when I first moved in, I only had one closet and it was this itty bitty closet combined with my laundry. So I decided to, instead of using this as my main closet, I took my dining room and I turned it into the closet. So let me show you guys that. Because I had no need for a dining room whatsoever. So this is my dining room closet. Um, it has more clothes than I can count. Fun little pieces like these boots. I have nowhere else to put them. I think I need to get another house because I'm running out of storage space for all of my things. 
like this dress. It is made out of silk and it is hand done and it is my, my number one prized possession in my closet. And it also houses my entire Barbie collection, which I have collected Barbie since the day I was born. My godmother started the tradition with me and I have received a Barbie every year since I was born. So I have 29 Barbies, technically 30, because the one up in the middle is a special edition Kith Barbie. If you step into the kitchen, I completely flipped this kitchen upside down. When you first came in, the fridge was big and ugly and it was in this corner. I didn't have wallpaper. So I, there was no need for me having a refrigerator that was so large when I first moved in. So I decided to get this cute little vintage one, which is perfect for one. As you can see, she's stacked to the brim right now with a bunch of things. Um, and then one thing that I did not talk about when we got to the bedroom is that these mood boards are from a collaboration that I did with Dillard's. I was able to design a 30 piece collection, not including shoes, which is insane. So this is like one of the swimmer pieces that we did. If I can get it untangled. So we did like swim, we did some ready to wear pieces like this. Um, but yeah, the collection turned out really, really good. And I think that's all I've got. It's time for you to go. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye.